Hi viewer, welcome to our another video. In this video we will discuss about Difference in carpet area, built up area and super built up area. We will be uploading videos on technology and career guidance on our channel regularly to encourage us to do more videos like this. Please subscribe to our channel if you are watching our channel for the first time. Don't forget to like this video if you like our video. Please share with your friends. Carpet area, built up area and super built up area all these terms are used to express the area available in a home. However, the three terms use different benchmarks to size up a property. This article is meant to act as your guide to understanding carpet area, built up area and super built up area and what they actually convey when expressing the size of a property. What is carpet area? Carpet area is that area in the flat which you could cover using a carpet. It is also known as the net usable area. According to the Real Estate Regulation and Development Act, RERA, carpet area is the net usable flow area of an apartment, excluding the area covered by the external walls but including the area covered by internal partition walls of the apartment. Under the government's PMAY program, Carpet area is defined as the area enclosed within the walls and the actual area to lay the carpet. Formula to calculate carpet area. Carpet area equals area of bedroom plus living room plus balconies plus toilets, the thickness of the inner walls. Carpet area. Things to know before investing in a property. Note that carpet area details should be included in marketing brochures promotional materials, sale deeds and sale agreements. Before investing, check in actuals if the carpet area mentioned to the home buyer is the same as provided. In case of any mismatch, a refund may be asked from the developer. What is built up area? The built up area in a flat is its carpet area, plus the space taken by the walls. The build-up area in a flat also includes other unusable areas like balcony, terrace, flower beds, etc. This is why the space in a flat would seem larger when it is expressed in build-up area terms. Formula to calculate built-up area. You can arrive at the built-up area in your home by using the following formula. Built-up area equals carpet area plus area of walls plus area of balcony. What is super built up area? Super built up area is the built up area of the property, along with the proportionate area of the common facilities in the housing project. These facilities may include the lobby, the lift shaft, the stairs, the swimming pool, the garden, the park and clubhouse, etc. Developers arrive at the super built up area of a unit by way of adding the total built up area with the area occupied by common areas, including the corridor, the lift lobby, the elevator, etc. In some cases, builders even include amenities such as pools, gardens and clubhouses in the common area. Areas covered in super built up area. Built up area of the flat. Clubhouses. Air ducts, pipe, shaft ducts, lift, staircases, lobby, swimming pool, gymnasium, any other common facilities. Note, the additional area will be added to the carpet area based on the loading factor used by the builder. Formula to calculate super built up area. Super built up area equals built up area plus proportionate common area. Oh. Super built up area equals carpet area, 1 plus loading factor. What is loading factor? The difference between the carpet areas and the super built up areas is known as the loading factor. The following is the formula to calculate the loading factor percentage. Carpet area asterisk, 1 loading factor equals super built up area. Note. The loading would be in the range of 15% to 50%, depending on builder and the exact location. In cities like Bengaluru, the loading factor could be in the range of 20 to 25% or even more. Super built up area calculation example. When there are more than one apartments on a floor, 
the super built up area is calculated in a different manner. Let us assume that on the fifth floor of a housing society, Sanjay Mehta owners an apartment with a built up area of 1000 SQFT. On the same floor, Amit Lal owns an apartment with a built up area of 2000 SQFT. The total common area on the floor is 1500 SQFT. Now, to calculate the super built up area of the two apartments, the builder would divide in the ratio of the apartments built up areas, in this case 1, 2, add 500 SQFT extra space in Mehta's total built up area and 1000 SQFT extra in Lal's built up area. Now, the super built up area of Mehta's apartment is 1500 SQFT and Lal's is 3000 SQFT. Final Carpet Area Calculation In most cases, the carpet area in your flat would typically be 70% of its built-up area. So, if the built-up area of a property is 1500 SQFT, its carpet area would typically be 1050 SQFT. Carpet Area Built-up Area and Super Built-up Area in Indian Real Estate before the RERA made it mandatory for builders to sell flats based on carpet area, they widely used the super built up area as the space measuring unit to cash in on the lack of clarity on space calculation. The use of super built up area as the measuring unit helped them to lower the per SQFT cost of the property. It also gave the buyer a false impression that they were investing in a large home when they actually were not. Super built up area is the big number, which developers prefer to market their projects with. It is the number they arrive at, by adding common areas with built up areas. Super built up area is also known as the saleable area, because it becomes a yardstick for developers to quote their buyers, explains Vijay Verma, CEO, Shunworld Group. With more than one apartment on a floor. The calculation of super built up area is done differently, he adds. Suppose a house with a carpet area of 1000 SQFT is priced at 2000 rupees per square FT. In such a scenario, the overall cost of the property will be 2 million rupees. To make the marketing pitch even more attractive, a developer will provide the super built up area, let's say, 1300 SQFT and price the property lower at, say, 1,800 rupees per SQFT. In this scenario, the overall cost of the property will be 23.40 lakh rupees. To a naive buyer, the latter would any day sound way more attractive than the former. Thank you for watching our video. I am, Sirish, Kantamanani. If you have any questions or doubts on the topic like technology and career guidance please comment below so we will reply or make a video on it. You are watching.